Hi there, and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to make a mixed media piece starting with this little collage that I've already put some papers down. I'm using the watercolor paper today. It's 300 GSM. That's about 140 pounds. And it's a pretty thick paper, so it's really great for collage work and putting down a lot of layers because it doesn't get too buckly. So these are um, some collage papers I had, and I made this collage paper on my jelly plate, and I had put them down previously um, just to kind of start something to get uh, rid of the blank page. So I'm going to put some paint down and just kind of play around and have fun. Hope you enjoy watching. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up so I know to make more like it. Okay, so I'm going to start with some raw umber, turquoise, and some bright aqua green. I really love the turquoise and the aqua green together. There's some gesso I'm adding as well. And then I'm also adding in some cadmium orange. I think it's cadmium orange hue. But the first one I wanted to make was kind of like a darker turquoise with the raw umber. I love using the raw umber to kind of muddy up some colors because it kind of gives a little bit more of a naturey vibe to them. And then I added in some of the bright aqua to kind of just make a interesting array of turquoise colors. And as usual, I'm just kind of using the gesso to brighten things up to make sure they don't get too dark and adding them to the colors so that they can lighten up a little. And here I'm just adding some water, kind of moving the paint around, not thinking too much about what I'm doing and creating some drips because I know I can always kind of remove it later or paint over it. That's the beauty of acrylic paints, right? You can always make another layer. So here I am just removing a little, it got a little too wet <laughs> and it's hard to make a lot of layers on that wetness. So one thing I want to keep, want you to keep in mind here is that I do allow some time for the piece to dry in between layers. And I think that's really important. There's a lot of movie magic going on with the video editing, but you have to allow some of the paint to dry and the water to kind of dissipate and for the paper to actually be dry so that it can absorb some more um, whatever you put down on it. I think we forget to talk about that in video editing. So here's some more water, just kind of doing the drips the other way, seeing what shows up. I just really love that aqua color. I haven't really worked with it a lot, but it's been on my mind for a while, so I really wanted to use it this week in what I made. So I'm just kind of playing with it, having fun with the drips, seeing what it looks like, removing some of it so it's not quite so wet and crazy. And I know at this point I was thinking, hmm, it's getting a little messy. But that's what usually happens in the middle. It gets real messy until it's not anymore. So this is just a stencil I use, really nice little background stencil. And I'm using the finger dabber, really easy to put some stencil um, designs down. Just have to hold it real still and just kind of twist it around so it doesn't get under the stencil. Same with this one, except I'm using the circular foam brush to kind of dab it in because it's a little bigger. I'm just trying to create some layers, some designs, some interests so that whoever looks at it, the eye moves around, it doesn't get stuck too much in one spot. At this point, I realized it was very turquoisey and very white, so I wanted to add in a new color. And this peachy 
kind of orange was just the complement that I was looking for. I did add a little of the um, raw umber, and that's why it looks a little bit muddy, which I like. I don't really love bright orange, but I do love combining orange with a lot of different colors. So just kind of having fun and playing around with different areas and then adding some water, seeing what kind of design it makes on its own. And trying to make up for some of that heavy turquoise. There's a lot of it. And adding in some lighter peachy color orange. And again, a reminder just to let things dry in between the layers, especially if you're going to glue things down like I'm doing here. So I'm using satin medium to put down some of my um, jelly prints. These are ones that I've printed on some deli paper. And it's great because it's kind of translucent so it does blend in pretty well to the background depending on what colors you're using and where you're putting it in the piece but I find it's a great complement to an already existing painting or mixed media piece. So then I started using some stamps. These are some new stamps that I got, just some basic lines. And I used kind of a mixture of the gesso and the raw umber. And as you can see, it's not very bright. So I wanted to go in with a little bit brighter of a color and I used some liquid titanium white. So that definitely created more of a contrast, as you can see there. I really love those lines, they're just interesting. So then here comes the fluorescent pink and some gray. And I wanted to add a little more of the fluorescent pink because I have those deli papers that have the pink on them. So I didn't want them to seem so out of place. So we just added a little gesso and a little gray to kind of muddy it up a little so they're not exactly the same, but in the same family. And just using that finger dabber again with the stencil. It's a great way to create objects and shapes on the paper in more of a uniform way. And now I'm just kind of going in with some gesso and clearing out some busy areas. Because sometimes it just gets to be a little too much. So. And I just was playing with some pink on top. Just kind of seeing where the painting takes me. All different layers, having fun with the colors, and the shapes, and just following what kind of feels right. If it seems a little busy, then I try to cover it up a little. And I wanted to add another layer to kind of push some things to the back as well. I felt like it needed a little bit of a darker color. So this is Mars black with a little gray. And I'm using that same stencil so it kind of connect with the other side. If you don't notice that right away, it's kind of like a subtle commonality around the piece. And then here is my focal point, the butterfly. I really love this butterfly. And I, I printed it on my inkjet printer on deli paper. Um, but one of the things I like to do is put it down first, find the place that I want it, and then just paint some uh, satin medium under it so it'll adhere to the paper. Because otherwise, you put it down, you pull it up, put it down, pull it up, it kind of gets messy. So this is more 
jelly prints, just kind of softening some corners, softening some areas that seem like busy and don't really totally go with what vibe I'm looking for. And then I wanted to just show you how I make the actual sentiment. I just draw on, I write on deli paper, cut it out, and then glue it down. It's real simple and it looks kind of cool. I always play around with the script. Sometimes I write it, just print it, or sometimes I do cursive. Depends on what I think goes best. And then this is a kind of a wax pencil, pretty much draws on anything. So I just wanted to outline some of the black to give it a little bit more of a dimension to it and soften it up a little bit. Just kind of going in and doing some details. Same with the black pencil, it's the same kind of pencil. And then that's it. A lot of details. You could see all the stencils and the colors and the stamps. Sentiment. You can even see the collage papers underneath. So this one was really fun to do. I love the colors, how it came out. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. I would love to make more videos that you enjoy watching. Thanks so much for being with me today. I'll see you soon.